good afternoon. I know I've been away for a while, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to say it. I stopped doing Vlogtober, but I've been away for a while. There's no specific reason. I just have stopped doing it. Um, I'm gonna chalk it up to laziness, honestly. But I just got home from a trip yesterday, and I'm on my way out to IKEA because I think I found the living room set that I want. Well, it's a couch and then two chairs. And then I also want to look for like one of those like the laptop stands they have in hotel rooms that you slide up under the couch, but it like hangs over the side. It's hard to explain, but I'll show y'all when I get there. But I'm also looking for one of those and then maybe some um, coffee tables or accent tables, lamps and things like that. But I know that for a fact, I'm gonna get my couch and my chairs from here. I'm not gonna buy it until next month so that it ships directly to my house when I'm ready to move in. Um, but I did want to go look at it and this place is like 30 minutes away from me, which kind of sucks It does suck, but at the same time, it's like um, Why not? Uh, school started a couple of days ago. I Started doing some reading, but I haven't done much work yet That's what I'm planning on doing for the rest of the day is some school work I just want to come on and start a vlog because like I said, I've been away for a while Like six days. No, probably not six days but probably like three or four days I've been away. Um, honestly, I just haven't been. One second. So y'all, I'm here at Ikea. Sorry I had to stop so abruptly, but it got traffic kind of quick. And um, I didn't even want to risk or trying to vlog and like. You know record so i just wanted to finish my ride here and now i'm on my way in i've never been to ikea before i'm kind of excited to go in there because i'm like people always talk about it like what y'all so excited about you know <laughs> so i'm ready to go in here and see what they got i'm excited for the stuff that i may find i might even find my bedroom set because honestly now i have my couch and i have my chairs I cannot find a dining room set to save my life. So hopefully they got something cute in here too. My color is going to be like cream and black. Um, mainly cream and then like black accents. Black and gold accents throughout the rest of the apartment. Hopefully I can find something cute in here. To just do my living room, dining room, have all that stuff done. And then I want to like like really cutify my bedroom. So we'll see what we have after that. But I'll see y'all inside. So immediately I love these chairs here. They're green. The ones that I was looking at were kind of like this, but the legs like went up on the side instead of up under it. But I think that these chairs look super cute with this ottoman, but I'm not doing green at all. So I can't get these colors, but they're super cute and they're so comfortable to sit in. I also love this little stand here, like as an accent piece or a bar cart in the living room. I don't know yet. This is another couch that I like. It looks very inviting, like come in and sit down, get comfortable. But I don't like how it looks worn kind of already. I'm sure that people like tested it, you know, sat down and things like that. But how I feel like it, the cushions need more filling to it. But the sofa is pretty affordable at $5.49. So, you know, I think that it's super cute. And the pillows really add to it. So. I don't know I think it might help and then this is the dining room table I was looking at um, and it extends so like if I have family over it really stops here but you can extend it to put more chairs my mom said that she don't like the chairs that it came with so I'm gonna have to look for something else this is the actual couch I'm gonna get but I'm gonna replace oh, the legs right. and it's gonna be a different oh, color like a cream so gonna be like light bright it's not as as welcoming as like the other one but it's definitely comfortable to sit in this whole room is more of the style that i like but i feel like it's super dark which is why i want to do the cream to kind of bring it out but i like the black and the gold accents as well and i actually like this table but i feel like the glass and the wood also don't really go with each other kind of clashes 
Okay, so I actually love everything about this dining room, uh, the table, the simple chairs, the little china cabinets, and the little planters in the back. I think it's super, super cute. Now I gotta call my mama and show her, see what she thinks, see if she thinks it's too simple or if she likes it. But the chairs, oh, this don't even come with a little cushion. This is what the chair looks like. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. So this is the chair that I'm getting, the cream and black, and I'm gonna get two of them. But I was not seeing this black one, but the black one kind of looks blue when I'm looking at it outside of the camera. I don't see if you can see like the tint behind it, but the cream and black, imagine the cream and black, right? With that cream couch that I showed y'all, I'll send it or show it again in the clip inside of this clip so you can see them together. Um, but yeah, that was my idea of it of the color wise but i also like this chair here but i think it looks really simple and like plain maybe something for outdoor like this one to also go outdoor maybe i don't definitely don't think it's like an accent chair so i found a dining table that i really like this is like a counter height dining table and it has storage like this long table i feel like you can put place matching things like that with the table there it's a rectangular shape and i was looking at these black chairs for it right or these pinstripe cream chairs here and i wish that i could show the whole thing but it's upholstered counter height as well and they also had this like velvet one in front of it but i actually kind of don't like that material so that's probably a no but it's also pretty cheap. Like literally about to furnish my whole house before I even move into the joint. But I love, I really, really like this one. I think that this one here is gonna be the move because you can sit back in it. It's wide for my big booty girl like me. And it's tall counter height so you can stand right next to it instead of sitting down into a chair. Definitely getting one of these when I move. I don't know what's wrong with me and getting rainbow, something of everything to go everywhere. So yeah, definitely getting one. So I know I'm on the headboard and I feel like canopy beds have had me in a chokehold. In fact, this is so affordable. It's super cute and it has like a tall enough headboard where, let me see if they have a box spring in here. No, it's just the mattress. So if I were to put my mattress or my box spring and which would be like here and then my mattress would be here, I wouldn't have much headboard to work with. But I don't like super low beds. I like to like sit up into my bed and be able to swing my legs over. But I feel like this canopy bed is or something like this is what I'm gonna end up with. I think it's super cute. It's easy to like it's easy for it to like shape a room without having to do like painted squares or you know too much trim and too much extra to the room but for sure i want a headboard um and maybe like a chair maybe i don't know yet to be honest but i ain't gonna lie i'm kind of impressed with the stuff that ikea got in their freaking showroom it's definitely not the same stuff that they have online and you're going to have to um Come inside and shop because you get a better deal and you find better stuff in here so i'm just leaving the ikea store and y'all let me get my little bang pieces now <laughs> i am obsessed like clearly you about to see all the footage that i have to say about oh about the ikea once i get home and i'll edit but y'all so much cute stuff i took a picture of so many tags i'm so ready to freaking buy it's ridiculous i knew i shouldn't have came because i literally hype myself up off of nothing <laughs> like i get geeked and now i'm so happy even found like a bed frame like i could really furnish my whole apartment with ikea like it was so much cute stuff in there it's ridiculous um it made me get some things to think about too because now i'm like do i really want to go with this look like what am i gonna do we'll figure it out but super super cute stuff i'm about to go get some food i'm thinking about going to black rock alone 
or I really want bonefish. I'm gonna see what's out here. I just want calamari. I've been quite, like craving calamari for almost two weeks. So I'm going to get some and then get some food after that. And I'm gonna go home and it's just homework after this. But yeah, I also, when you see the clips, like um, it's a lot of me just pointing and talking about things because when I tried to record myself like sitting on a couch or like sitting in a dining room chair, so many people kept walking past and it started to make me feel uncomfortable. So I did the talking as far as like recording and talking and you know, saying things that I like about the things. But um, I wish I could have recorded myself sitting in some of the items and things like that. I was just a little, a little punk, but I mean, I do it all by myself, so I don't care. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of couples here, like a lot of families, a lot of couples, a lot of older people. And it was just me like walking around alone. Like there was no other person here by themselves but me. But we ain't gonna complain because I am an independent woman. I can do things on my own and it's gonna be okay. But yeah, that made me feel a little, a little type of way. Not really sad, but like, man, I wish I had somebody with me. Maybe jealous, is that the word? Like wishing that somebody came with me and I could have bought somebody, but I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm about to get food. Let me look and see what's around. Excuse me, this place to eat. I'm linted up. That's ridiculous. Can you tell any I am? Do y'all like my sweater with my cute little sleeves? All right, y'all. So I just left Black Rock. I finished eating my food. I also had two margaritas. And I don't want to drive yet, just to be safe. So there's a Garner White. Literally, can you see the sign? I think it was meant to be. So we're gonna go into Garner White. Like I didn't I haven't drove in anywhere because I know I don't want to drive. I'm gonna eat a couple ice cubes, talk to y'all. Oh. And then I'm going to Garner White because I'm gonna look at some more furniture. I'm having too much fun today. Like literally by myself. I was sitting next to two guys. And um I went to the bar because I was sitting by myself. I wanted a table, but there was already a wait, and I'm not gonna wait for a table for one person. So I sat next to the I sat at the bar, right? And I sat next to two guys. One guy was an actual artist. Like you just meet the most random people, but he's like, Yeah, I have a show at 6 30. It's 6 30 now. And he's like, Yeah, I gotta go. And you know, if you haven't been to Black Rock, Black Rock's a place where they bring your food out on like a hot rock and you cook your food on the rock so his food didn't come out yet by like six o'clock so he was over it but we just were talking and stuff like that he's super cool like just the nicest person that i would ever meet and i'm sad because i didn't even get his name or anything like that because he was in a rush to leave but i'm pretty sure he was with his boyfriend so it probably would have been a little weird anyways but they were just the two nicest guys coolest guys and when I when they were talking about like art at first because they were like watching videos I guess they edit videos and stuff too and I'm like you know what do you do and he was like yeah I'm a painter I got a show coming up um I actually have one now I'm just waiting on my food so I can go and he was already in the rush and over it so like when it was time for them to actually run out they said bye but I didn't want to get all like where's your show what is it gonna be what time is it because I need friends I'm not gonna lie I need friends but I didn't want to seem too desperate so it was nice to just have a regular cool interaction with them period and then you know maybe we'll meet again at this black rock maybe not that's perfectly okay but yeah super cool to meet them um i had two drinks a bunch of soup and some calamari because like i told you i've been ca craving calamari for so long so now i'm about to go in this garden white and look at more furniture I really hope a salesperson will try to talk to me because I'm like, no, I'm looking. Just looking, thanks. No, I'm just looking around, thank you. Like, I feel like at actual furniture stores, they're like looking to sell you something so they jump on you as soon as you walk in there. So I'm just gonna walk around and just look. Hopefully nobody talks to me, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I'll talk to y'all later.